Hey, welcome back everybody. So as you can see from the title of the video, I have decided to do one more 100 miniature painting challenge. Although I'm not sure I can call it a challenge anymore. Uh, now this will probably be my most diverse collection of miniatures though that I've painted so far. So unlike some of the other ones where it was kind of a mix of just a bunch of odd miniatures, this one has got a little bit of everything. So I'm going to show you what's what's going to be the 100 miniatures so in case you want to uh, check back in to see so first up we are going to be painting these aliens from my alien versus predator uh board game or miniature game i'm not doing the predators and i'm not doing the marines yet we're just going to be doing the aliens so i'm thinking these should be fairly quick from some of the tutorials i've seen the, the truth is I've actually run out of uh, blisters of miniatures to paint. Other than these here, I don't have any more blisters of miniatures to paint. So uh, I'm scavenging through my uh, board games, which is a good thing. This is a... Uh, these are miniatures from the uh, Song of Ice and Fire Free Folk box. Starter box. And I, I, ha I don't know if I've done an unboxing of that or not. I think I showed you guys that when I bought it uh, or got it from the convention. But I haven't, I don't know if I've actually went through all the miniatures. I think I did though. I remember showing the giants. These miniatures are from Sword and Sorcery, the board game, which I picked up. Well, I didn't pick up, but somebody bought for me uh, for the holidays in a gift exchange. So, uh, and I've done a... Uh, I think I've got a, I posted an unboxing of that so you guys can take a look at that which should be up before this gets up or should air before this one does but so I've got I've got a selection of miniatures from there uh, and that includes these silver as well as all the blue in the back and then of course we're going to do more Song of Ice and Fire these are actually guys called uh, I think the Tully Swordsman so I haven't painted the Tullys before. They have an actually a pretty cool paint scheme, which I think you'll like. These are some Outriders for uh, the Starks. And then we've got a huge new contingent of miniatures for the Lannisters. Which you guys, if you remember the miniatures I did with the shiny red armor, that's how the Lannisters get done. Now actually, this is a lot of stuff to try to do. Uh, as part of a challenge because my goal is to finish these 100 miniatures before January 1st and today is like the 28th so you're talking about the 29th 30th 31st does December have 31 days I don't know and then the first so you're talking about maybe four or five days so basically I, my goal is to finish them at least by the end of January 1st basically after the holidays are up so I got my work cut out for me but that's kind of why I wanted to show you guys before I got started these are my most recent pickups from WizKids and these are all shown in my after painting uh, video, which I believe is going to air uh, either Saturday or Sunday. So, uh, so if that hasn't uh, aired by the time you see this, it will it will be uh, airing the next day. But I think I think it will probably. I should probably be uploaded by the time you guys see this. It should have already been uploaded. But if you haven't watched it, then you can watch it to see where I kind of do a little more close-up of those. These are miniatures that you should have seen before. With a few exceptions. Uh, these are the ones I did during my 48 days of uh, unboxings. There is one or two that I did not get to during that time. And... Uh, see if that's a little better I think it just got darker and 
I, I think I, I can grab those. So, for example, this is, uh, is his name Bjorn the Bearman from Lord of the Rings? This is a GW model, which I don't think I've previously done an unboxing for. Wow, that's hard to see. Let's take some light off of it. And let's see here. Yeah, so that's a little better. So I don't think I showed him. Uh, there's a few here that I showed, but they weren't assembled. So this is the He-Man figure from the Masters of the Universe uh, that I told you I've got uh, off of Etsy. And this is Skeletor. So those are assembled and on basis. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you this guy. This was an Atlantis miniature which I got as part of a Kickstarter. He's like an elven sword master. So he's going to be in there. This is actually a miniature, I think, from Brother Vinny, which I showed you guys, which basically kind of, you know, is in homage to Elder Scrolls. Uh, the other Brother Vinny miniature, wow, that cape just came right off. The other Brother Mini miniature, this kind of prophet with the cross, cross, cool looking cross. This I think was, I don't remember where I got this miniature. This is a big heavy metal miniature. I don't know what kit he came in. This is another Brother Vinny miniature. So I did show you some of these miniatures, but they obviously weren't assembled at the time and obviously weren't on bases. Uh, this is one of the uh, Arthurian figures. So I have unboxings for all of these if you are interested in them. The, the uh, Forge of Doom Conan miniature. So they will be getting painted this time. Another Forge of Doom. Thalsa Doom. So if you're interested in seeing those. And the miniature I just dropped is another miniature that you will see in After Painting. So that is it, everybody. That is about 100 miniatures. Uh, I guess there's nothing else to say now, but let's get started.